This is only going to work if you work with me. I want you to think of this as a sort of symbiotic relationship. We're both going to be relying on each other throughout this whole All right, look. My wife really wants me to do this. She's the only reason I'm here. Okay. Why do you think she wants you to be here? Because she really cares about me. What do you guys even write in there? It always looks like you're trying to act busy. Uh, very sorry. I was just taking some notes. Why don't you tell me about your wife? What does she do? She's an art teacher at a studio. A good portion of her day is dedicated to teaching middle-aged women. Well, that's great. So why art? She really likes to paint. Is she any good? They look kind of small to me. Why don't you trust me? You don't work too hard now. Yeah, my brother was an artist too. Was? Yeah. When the real world kicked in, to adjust. The real world happens to everybody. I mean, an artist can still choose to create. I don't know. I figure you, you don't do art school, you lose touch, you don't have time to do all your, your paintings. You grow up, become an adult. You can still enjoy what you love and be an adult. Why does it need to be that sacrifice? Okay, anyhow. What made him choose to do that? The real world. That's the second time you've mentioned that phrase, but I don't think the real world actually makes us do anything. I mean, at the end of the day, don't we always have that choice? I, I, I mean, wouldn't you agree? Alright, look, anyone that truly believes that the real world doesn't influence our decisions is either delusional or a kid born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Alright, look, most of us just don't have the luxury of making bad decisions. Going to art school would have been a bad decision. Now look, tell me, do you ever see advertisements that say looking for a good painter? Was he a good painter? What? Do you think maybe you secretly didn't believe in his abilities as an artist? No, the kid was a fine painter. I mean, he got into the school of his fucking dreams. Do you think maybe he didn't believe in his abilities? Maybe the pressure of making it was too big for him to handle. No, he wanted to go, but I said no. So, you stopped him from going. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Look, I'd like you to meet me at this address next week. If you can. I really hope to see you there.
Hey, this is Chris. Sorry I'm not at the phone right now, but if you leave a message with your name and number, I'll be sure to get back to you. You've reached Taylor. Sorry I can't talk right now, but you can. Just leave a message. Bye. Uh, hey, it, it's me. It's, uh, it's Jeffrey. Um, I, I just wanted to give you a call and say I, I, I started therapy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I don't, I don't know if if you remember this or not, but uh, you were the one that, that, that recommended that I start, and and I have learned a lot about myself. And I, it, it, it's been very eye opening for me, you know. Uh, so, it, yeah, if, if if you could just shoot me a call sometime, that would be great. Um, yeah, and, and anyway, uh, bye. We're set to open next week, and we've got a little bit of prepping to do. So, why'd you bring me all the way out here? Well, you complained about my office, so I thought I'd get near my theater instead. Oh, you own this place? I do. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hope to make it a family business. Maybe even pass it down a couple generations. Something better than this. And not what it would be, I, I wouldn't have the faintest thought. But I do know she would love doing it. My wife. She hasn't been my wife for two months now. I'm sorry, Jeffrey. Yeah. You know, she was the kind of person that fit into my life perfectly. And, and I know we, we made each other better people. I know we did. I think they hate me. Who? Everyone. Students. 
the other teachers. And I don't blame them. I have no fucking clue how to talk to these people. It's like, I'm just standing there telling them over and over, just do it, just do it. And they're looking at me like I left out the magical ingredient to becoming a brilliant painter. And then I think, gosh, is there some magical ingredient to becoming a brilliant painter? But there's not, there just isn't. And I don't know how to tell them just be better. You are a brilliant painter, so just think about whatever it is you do when you do your thing. I can't. It's just something that can't be taught or else I must be doing something fundamentally wrong. But don't say that. I mean, what do you say when people ask you about your work? Do you just go, well, I don't know, I just did it. I'm just saying that this teaching gig, it's a really good opportunity for you to really hone in on your skills. I mean, right? Don't you think so? Anyone would be lucky to have the best fucking artist in the world as their teacher. You asked during an earlier session what I was writing in my notepad. Yeah. It was actually this monologue. I know it's unprofessional of me, but to be honest, you inspired some of the lines I wrote. Well, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> Besides, aren't you supposed to be the one inspiring me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if I'm being honest, I spend most of the day trying to inspire myself. Did you care to read it? So a student, very sneakily, went behind my back and submitted one of my paintings to peers. Hmm. And, well, now they want more. They want to put my work on display. Uh, who is they? A few representatives from the gallery. Uh, the one we went to together last fall. They said I need to bake five new pieces by the 16th, and I mean, it's possible, but I'd have to quit my job if I want to get them done on time. Showing off a room of your artwork to a bunch of snobs sounds eventful. Are they going to pay you, or are you going to let them fuel their snobbery for free? Well, someone would have to buy the pieces in order for me to get paid. And curators estimate that with my level of skill and expertise, they would sell somewhere in the thousands range. Sweetie, they say that to everybody. They just need filler pieces so their gallery doesn't seem so empty. I just don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, what if they don't sell? Like, I just don't want to see you get hurt. Do you know how unbearable it is to wake up every day and hate what you do? The only time I feel sane is when I'm dreaming about a different life. One where I have my own art gallery and people come in to look at my work and for a minute that's all they're thinking about. It's nice that you dream, it really is. But come on, Taylor, these things you're talking about, this place, it, it's meant to stay a dream. What's actually gonna happen is you're gonna throw away a job for what, the, the chance it's selling a couple paintings? And then what comes next? See, you don't know. You can't guarantee anything like you can guarantee a nice, steady income. Need I remind you of the reliable job you currently that have? That job is why I'm so miserable, Jeffrey, and if you weren't so dense, and maybe you would have realized that. If being real is being dense, then I can't help you. You always think I want your help. Well, maybe I just want to be able to make these decisions for my own. You need my help, Taylor. You would get eaten alive in the real world. It's cruel. You must understand this, Jeffrey. I don't need your help. 
My work, it garners recognition on its own. People recognize my brother for his work, but he didn't let it get to his head. I'm not your brother, Jeffrey. Oh, Jesus, damn it. I'm just saying that maybe you could learn a lesson or two from him. I'm doing this with or without you. I did something terrible to him, but to my, my brother. Uh, we were having an argument one night, you know, he said some things, I said some things, and he just walked off. Like he was never going to speak to me again. And then what did you do? I... I destroyed his paintings. Did your wife ever end up chasing her passions? values placed. Mine? Well, mine are deeply rooted in the pride received from hard work. Life's perplexities further convoluted by distractions. Our only obligation is to consistency. And with what you do, nothing is guaranteed. I've strived my whole life for stability. For this world can kill you. But I should have known that it wouldn't. Yeah, I don't think I, I could live with myself. I watched her thrive while watching my brother crumble. Every day, seeing the success he could have had, could have worked for me. My only hope is that I can one day earn your forgiveness. Because I, I don't think I could keep living. He's the killer of their ambitions. <laughs> 